Hey guys, greeting and salutations, it's Hayden here. Welcome to a new video. How's everyone doing today? Because they're all doing fantastic. Uh, today is Sunday. I'm really excited to go thrifting with you guys. But I do film a bunch of different videos on Sunday. And I'm going to bring you guys to a couple different stores here in this video. Don't forget to check out the rest of the videos throughout the rest of the week. I do most videos every single day for the rest of the thrifting and hauls and all that stuff that we find uh, while we go out thrifting today. But if you guys love thrifting, thrift house vlog, home decor videos, live sales, do not forget to subscribe to the little bell button so you're notified when new videos do. Go up at me on Instagram. It's Hadrian. Just like it's spelled here, and check out the shop. It's Hadrian.com to see whatever for sale from it's Thrifting Adventures. But without further ado, let's head out and see what we can find today. See you guys there. All right, guys, our first stop of the evening or the evening of the morning, Goodwill here in Anaheim. This is the one on Lincoln. All right, we are inside. Look at the sofa, that floral print. Ooh, a mirror. You guys, I also think there's a sale on costumes. I think all the kids' costumes are like 50% off. Oh yeah, that's what it says in the signs up there. Cool, Pikachu. I always want to check to see what's in the case too. Ole Regenerous Mineral Sunscreen. Blackhead Solutions from Clinique. All right, we are in the home decor furniture section. I wonder if we can find anything for the house. I actually have this bath mat, but I have it in a different color. It's like the blue and white one. It looks kind of nice in the all white. $12.99. It's not too shabby. Let's see what else is here before I make a decision. like a lot of stuff is missing. I think a lot of stuff went on sale this week probably is what happened. Oh, I actually have one of these pillows already. Do we need another one? Ten. I don't know. Does that mean that it's... I think that means it's 15. Even though it went on sale for ten fifty, see sometimes stuff goes on sale cheaper than it pops up at the Goodwill. So you gotta look out for that. Like I love the Goodwill, but sometimes like the pricing is different. Sometimes you can still get a better deal elsewhere. This is the cool like low coffee table thing. Ooh, are these ceiling medallions? Oh, they are stealing medallions. The smaller one is cool. I like that. I'm not too into the one with the flowers. Joker. Studio. Mickey. I always like to see if there's any cool, um, like, baking things for mom. I've found a lot of really great pieces that are like William Sonoma, like Nordic wear and stuff. I don't think I see any today. Starbucks? Oh, this is Starbucks. Don't think this goes with it. That's a cute cup. This looks kind of like the Yeti one. There's a Yeti cup that looks kind of like that. Zach, Willow Park, this might be, um, sup, Starbucks, yep, $5.99, it's actually cool, what do I kind of like this one, we'll think about it. I like like the print. Was this a collaboration with something? I'm actually gonna Google lens it and see if it's worth anything. There was one that sold on Mercari for 30 bucks, but let's see the Amazon one. 
fall 2020. Let's see if it still pops up. Slow. Oh yeah, it's around 30 bucks. Interesting. You guys, I found the cutest little mouse candlestick holder. Looks like a one around 30 to 25 dollars. There's one for 91 on Amazon. Check out all this blue and white stuff. This is from Bombay Company. I like this little stand and this container thing. Okay, I'm in the plate section. The plates that I was stocking for a hot second are no longer here. This looks like someone's already bought them all. Oh, what are these? Is there any markings? Not that I can see. Also, the last time I was here, I found a lot of really great, like, crystal and glassware. So I'm hoping to find some cool stuff today. What is this? Like some sort of vase or something? It's kind of cool looking. Kaiser, made in Germany. It's a pretty vase. I also like this vase right here, $12.99. This is interesting looking. It's $8. There's this carafe, like this is like a wine thing I think. They sold those at Pottery Barn I think. How cute is this little handbag thing? It's 99 cents. I wonder who makes it. I found it. It's a golden dress silver plate, a chopping bag, salt and pepper shaker. But it's missing the salt and pepper shaker. Look at this bowl. It's cute. $17.99. Little leaf bowls. I just found this Spider Man like pocket folder thing. It's actually really cute. It's $2.99. Did I get this for Cade? I really had to get a card because I found a couple things. So I found this poster for this show called Hunter x Hunter. Um, I think I might get it for the kids or for John because they both like Hunter x Hunter a lot. Um, Spider-Man. This hair product is so good. It's a 10 Miracle Even product. This stuff is so expensive. It's $15 here, but it's even more expensive at the store. And this is like the large bottle. Uh, I found this vintage Calvin Klein bucket bag that I really like. I don't know. Like it's cute, like the style, the leather is nice. And it's $7.99 or $8.99. And last but not least, this is the best thing, is this, I love Claire Vivi. I actually might keep this for myself because I really like the color of the bag, but it's a yellow Claire Vivi satchel tote bag in the most amazing yellow leather. Gorgeous. Look at that, Claire Vivier. Claire V, Los Angeles. These bags are made in, the, um, in LA too, which is cool. I think these are vintage hats. They're super cool. This is a Goodwill Boutique, it's called Rare. It's in Anaheim, California, if you guys wanna come check it out. Here's the store, you guys. It's such a pretty store. It's like all glass and metal, and it's beautiful. There's an Alexander McQueen, I think, scarf in there. Some shoes. What is that jacket? Pierre Milano or something? Oh my gosh, look at this unicorn. It's majestic. We got some shoe inserts. British Heritage Collection. Oh my gosh, a super haunted baby. <laughs> oh my gosh, it gave me a hiccup. Ooh, glass and crystal stuff. Dalmatian. Oh, another unicorn. And a giraffe. I think I actually have that unicorn. A bear. Ooh, are these made in something? Ainsley Queen's Garden. This one's pretty too. 
So this is the section I was in right now. If you pan over, the store is really nicely like laid out. It kind of looks like a retail store, like I ever in Outfitters or something. But let's look at the handbags really quick. Maybe this is like an old timey washing machine looking thing. Is there anything cool inside of here? What is this? Sandra Roberts. What is that? Urban Expressions. There's a coach wallet. Uh, but the little things, like the little clips, mess them up. Hey guys! Okay, so we are back at the house and I wanted to share you guys what we ended up getting today from the Goodwill. I got a bag of stuff and I'm super excited to dig in and show you guys what we got. So first things first, I didn't end up getting the Starbucks mug. I was like, it's missing the top lid part. So I didn't end up getting it even though it was pretty cute, but it's okay. I got this folder for the boys, whoever wants them or they can each have one because there's three different folders in here, but they're just Spider-Man folders and I thought they were cute. And if they don't want them, I will keep them <laughs> for myself. But this was $2.99. I don't know, I feel like that's, pretty, that's probably how much they were at the store to be honest but who knows but they have spider-man and I mean the boys love spider-man so that's always a plus then I actually bought this for my aunt because she asked me to find her a Kipling bag and a uh, what was the other one they are Bradley a they are Bradley bag and I found her a Kipling bag already and this one is another Kipling piece and it's a wallet and it kind of matches it's kind of like the same color though the other one is kind of like a goldish metallic color I got her semi kind of matching wallet to go with it so I think that'll be really cute to include with her bag so I wanted to get this for her it was five dollars and 99 cents then I got this Calvin Klein bucket bag so I think it's vintage I'm pretty sure it is it's all leather the inside is lined in a nice black canvas also says Calvin Klein right there on the bottom I love the silhouette of it it's a really nice bucket bag we really can't go wrong with a nice bucket bag plus this is probably like from the 90s I feel like I just need to do a little bit of research on it but I know Calvin Klein doesn't really make bags like this anymore and this one is just really nice quality bag so I got this it was eight dollars and 99 cents so pretty excited about this guy then I was very excited about this bag this this is a Claire Vivier tote bag and this one is a super buttery soft yellow color leather and I don't know I feel like I might actually want to keep this because I do like the color like look at that color it just looks so fantastic and I don't know I've been wanting like a bag in this shade of yellow it's like a yellowy mustard it has a crossbody the top handles the inside is the chambray fabric from Claire V it says Claire V Los Angeles right there it has like some paper inside of there. What's super cool about these bags too is that they're made in USA. And I believe all of her handbags are actually made locally here in California, which I think is super awesome. I feel like it's one of the very few handbag brands that are actually made like locally where Claire V is from California. She started her brand in California and all of her handbags are made here in California. So I think that's really cool. She also has a line of stuff over at Anthropology as well. And I don't know if they carry her her items anywhere else. Anthropology, they have some clothing pieces, home decor pieces, dinnerware, home accessories. So she has a ton of stuff at Anthropology. I just love Anthropology. And I have a ton of her home goods pieces too. Might keep this one, we'll see, but the color is really, really nice. And I like, just, I look, I love looking at it on camera right there. It looks really, really good. So um, this one, yeah, it looks like someone tried to remove it. I don't know, it says I am and then an initial and IX means like nine dollars so it's $8.99 which I'm not mad at that's an okay price for me and the bag is beautiful it does have a little bit of mark especially on this side but I think I can clean it up we'll see we'll see if I can get my cleaner to clean it out I actually have some of my cleaners right here I'll probably try the Kiwi quick dry sneaker cleaner on it and see if this works and hopefully I'll get it out like those things and then last but not least I got this coach bag this one is a super cool vintage made 
in USA. Yeah, New York City is one of the New York City ones. Really cool. It just has that one interior zipper pocket right there. And this one actually has two exterior front pockets. And what's great about this is that you can actually use this bag as a clutch too. So you can use it as a crossbody bag, as a clutch. Um, you can use it as a makeup bag, a dop kit, whatever. Like the possibilities are endless with this one. And it's just a beautiful bag. And it's vintage. It's probably older than I am. So it's in really, really great shape. The leather looks fantastic. And who doesn't love Vintage Coach? Vintage Coach is definitely very popular right now. It's making a resurgence back into like the handbag community. And like everyone has some sort of Vintage Coach, I feel like, in their collection. So, But that is going to be pretty much the end of today's video. I hope you guys had fun. Don't forget to check out the rest of the videos that are going to go up throughout the rest of the week from what I filmed this weekend. I do post videos every single day. Join me on Fridays and Saturday nights at 10 p.m. Pacific Standard Time for the live sales. They are so much fun. And I do a giveaway too every night so consider joining and I'll see you guys in the next video. Alright, bye!